Hi, welcome to Yoga with Jenny. My name is Jenny. Today we're going to be doing a 20 minute yoga sequence that you can incorporate into your morning routine. So this is intended for those that maybe you have a hard time moving first thing in the morning, that this is something you can incorporate into your routine. You don't have to do it in the morning, but it's a great sequence, especially to get a little bit of circulation going and feeling a little bit more comfortable in your body. So you don't actually have to start on your mat today. We can start sitting down so as long as you can get yourself into out of bed and sit up you're already there so bring your hands to your knees close your eyes for a moment and then feel your body lengthening so feel the crown of the head lifting tailbone drawing down let your shoulders draw back let's take a few breaths here feeling the body wake up And then on your next inhale, keep your hands on your knees. Let's lift the chest, lift the chin. And then exhale, draw the chin in around through the chest. So doing some seated cat cows, inhaling and exhaling, starting to move through the spine. You can make this movement as big or as small as you'd like. And then let's come back to neutral. Let's make some circles from the hips. So drawing the chest forward and then hugging it back in. You can pull those shoulders forward, kind of move through the head a little bit. This gets to be a movement that feels good for you. And then switch directions. and coming back through center. Now, take a fold forward. You can walk those arms out in front, fold over your ankles. Let the chin draw in, let the head hang heavy. Lift the head, walk those hands back in and let's switch opposite ankle in front. Let's do a little bit of twisting now. So walk that right hand across the body and look over as you walk your left hand behind you. Looking over that back shoulder, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, unwind, come back through center, and then let's switch other side, twisting and looking over the back shoulder again. Inhale, come back through center. Now let's take a side body stretch, press into that left hand, inch the fingertips over, reach through that right arm. You can look down at your palm and then let's start to move that top arm. So just getting a little bit of movement through there. You can let this movement be as big or as small as you'd like. If your arms are a little tired in the morning, bring your hand to your shoulder and move from the elbow. Switch directions. And nice big stretch, reach through the arm. And come back through center, switch it out, other side. Reach, reach, reach through that arm or bring your hand to the shoulder, your choice. Look down to your palm and then feel free to make those nice big circles again.
Coming back, switch directions. And then take a nice hold. Inhale, come back up. And fold forward, walk those hands out in front. Gently walk the hands back in, and then we'll switch opposite ankle in front, coming back to that original seat. So giving our hips a little time to wake up. Let's lower our right, or sorry, our left hand down, and then reach that right arm out in front of our knee. So you're rounding through that upper body, stretching into the middle back, and you can let the hands float or touch down to the floor. Let's inhale, come back up, reach that arm, look back at the hand and gently switch. Switch as you reach through the arm, round through the body. And inhale, come back up, reach and look back at the hand. Come back through center. Let's bring our hands together at heart. Inhale, lift up through the fingertips. Exhale, open the arms, cactus. Keep the gaze up, keep lifting the chin. And then reach the arms forward, round through the body. Two more times, inhale, look up, exhale, round. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, hold. And exhale, release the arms down. Switch opposite ankle in front. Now from here, take those hands to your knees and let's find those hip circles once again. Just noticing how the hips feel, waking up just a little bit more. And then switch direction. All right, from here, come back through center. Now I want you to send your legs out in front of you. From here, start with the feet planted down and then walk them out a little wide. Hands come back behind you and windshield wiper those knees. And then the next time your knees go over to the left, pause there. You can hold, if you'd like a little extra, place that left ankle on top of your right thigh. Come back through center. Lower the left foot down. Take a few more windshield wipers with the legs. And coming back, let the knees drop over to the right. Right ankle can come on top of that left thigh. Gently release, come back through center. Let's do soles of feet together, knees wide. Bound angle or Baddha Konasana. Interlace the fingers, reach the heart forward, look forward, and then draw the chin in. Three more breaths here. And let's slowly come back up, bring those knees together. Now let's do a little bit of abdominal work, waking up our core. 
Hands can be behind your thighs or come to the mat. We lift those feet up and hold here in Navasana boat pose. For a little more, reach those arms forward. Holding for five, four, three, two, and on one, I want you to come into Ardha Navasana. So reach the legs forward, reach the heart back, holding here for five, for four, for three, for two, and one, come back to Navasana. One more time, hold for five, for four, for three, for two, one, Ardha Navasana, reach the legs forward, heart back, for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Bring those knees in, give yourself a nice big hug. And we bring the feet down, send your right leg in front, bring your left ankle above your left knee. So if you've seen my videos before, we've done this pose. Make sure that the ankle bone isn't pressing into the thigh. You want it a little bit above your, the boniest part of your ankle. And you're pressing down above the knee into the lower part of our thigh. Hands near the hips, fold forward, look forward. Keep lengthening through the back of that right hamstring. And then let's come back up, walk the hands back and bring that right heel in. Figure four, you can wrap your arms around those thighs. Now keep your left leg lifted. So hold about below the knee and then hold around the heel or the ankle and send the right leg forward. You can give yourself a little wrap with that leg or some people like to hook their elbows underneath and we're gonna swing that leg a little side to side. So whether you're holding the leg or resting it on your arms, find whatever feels best. And this movement doesn't have to be big. Maybe just holding here feels enough. And so you can stay there. Now, let's bring that right foot either down to the inside of the thigh or to the outside. Things are may feel pretty open, so you may be able to plant that foot down. Curl the right toes back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then your choice, open twist to the right or a closed twist to the left. Getting some twists in, waking things up in the body, getting ourselves ready for the day. Inhale, come back through center. And then take a counter twist. So if you twisted right, twist a little to the left or vice versa. Inhale, gently come back through center. And let's uncross the leg and we will Come back, walk those feet in, Navasana boat pose. Lift through the legs. Option to float the hands or keep the hands resting behind you. Inhale through the nose. Holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and on one, Ardha Navasana. Holding again for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale, hold for five, for four, for three, for two, and on one. Exhale, Ardha for three, or sorry, for, four, for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Bring those knees in, give them a nice big hug, and then lower the feet down. Let's send the legs out in front. Now we will bring that right ankle right to that thigh. Start with your hands alongside the body and gently fold forward. Look past your toes. Feel that length through the hamstring.
Inhale, gently come back up. We walk the hands back and bring that foot in. So you can stay here with the hands behind you or you can walk them forward. Maybe wrapping your arms around your thighs, giving yourself that little hug. Now keep holding on to that right leg and we're gonna send that left leg forward. So however you feel most comfortable holding onto that leg, whether that's hooked elbows, arms wrapping around, one hand to the knee, one hand to the heel, you can hold there or take a few little swings side to side. And then hold, drawing that shin in just a little bit closer. And then let's release the foot down to the outside or the inside of the thigh. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, take your twist. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, take a counter twist. Come back through. Let's uncross those legs, send them forward. Find a slight bend in the knees and let's all fold forward, finding posture motanasana, seated forward fold. Reach through the crown of your head, open up that lower back. Press through the balls of the feet. Pull the sit bones back. And then release the arms. Let's cross at the ankles and roll into a tabletop. Take a few cat cows here. So let's really focus on the movement of the tailbone of our pelvis. And then coming back through center, open up your knees and take a child's pose, pulling the hips back to the heels, walking those arms forward and letting the forehead come down. Gently walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat. And then let's walk our hands over towards the right side. And then lift up and we are going to interlace our arms. So keep that left arm forward and bring the right arm underneath coming down onto the shoulder. You can turn onto the side of your head or stay on your forehead.
We're still pulling those hips back. And then gently switch. And then walk your hands in. We are coming now onto our knees for a little back bend. The last of our poses to wake the body up. I want you to take your hands right about where you'd have pockets on your pants. Knees are at least hips width apart. Press the hips forward, lift the chest, look up, draw the shoulder blades together. This doesn't have to be a big back bend. The most important thing is drawing the tailbone down and pressing the hips forward. Close your eyes. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Realign the spine. Sit back onto your heels or into a child's pose. Close the eyes. Pause for five breaths. Filling up the back body. And then on your next inhale, open up the eyes, come on up off of your seat and get on out of bed. You are ready to go. You're ready to start your day. And again, um, you can do this routine as many times as you'd like throughout the morning, whether it's first thing, maybe after you have your breakfast. Um, other than that, we'll continue to share some more videos on how to start your day with a little bit of yoga. Again, my name is Jenny and thank you for joining me for Yoga with Jenny.